Hello, fourth graders. Mr. Buck, I'm here from Central Elementary School with your first reading lesson, and we're going to be studying cause and effect. The definition of cause and effect is the reason why something happens, which is the cause, and what happens as a result, which is the effect. The key words are cause, why something happens, and affect what happens as a result. Be thinking right now of instances in your life where there has been a cause and effect relationship. Some important clue words for cause and effect are therefore, so, after, because, since, result, reason and consequence. And these are like signal words that tell us that there's going to be a cause and effect relationship happening here. You have several reading passages for this week that are about cause and effect. And when you are reading them, be looking for these clue words or signal words. Some examples of everyday cause and effect relationships are, if I have a great week at school, then I can go to the movies on Saturday. So a cause and effect there, have a great week, and then go to the movies. The next one is, since I had a lot of homework, I got started right away. And again, looking at those signal words, clue words that tell us that there is a cause and effect relationship. Another example is I started crying because I fell off my bike. My friends laughed at me, so I went home. If you don't do your homework, then you can't go to recess. These are everyday cause and effect relationships. Be thinking about other cause and relate, uh, effect relationships um, that you've seen this week. Maybe it's um, April 1st, we were greeted with snow on the ground. We have a cause and effect relationship there. We had moisture in the air and it was cold. So we got snow. I hope you did too. A little adventure on April 1st. There is an activity for you to practice using the signal words and the signal words you'll be using uh, in the sentences are if, then, because, since, and so. Now the first one has the phrase for getting your homework at home. Um, and I used a sentence, I've been forgetting my homework at home because I got a new puppy. So cause and effect relationship there. That's what you're doing with two, three, and four. I kind of stuck with the puppy theme all the way through. There are four reading passages for you this week. They have, one of them is, look who's talking. It's about how elephants communicate. Another one is about moose and how they are being transported by helicopter from one place to the other and be looking for those relationships with cause and effect. See if they use any of those transition words or uh, signal words, clue words for showing that concept of cause and effect.